Hello and welcome to this instructional video on how to download and configure the Speed Dial Chrome browser extension. So the first step is to get the Chrome browser. If you don't already have that, you can nav yeah, navigate to google.com and you can write Chrome browser. And then you click Google Chrome browser. And then you click download Chrome and you follow the steps to do the installation. And then you open that browser, that program. Then you can go back to Google and you can search Chrome extension and you click extensions Chrome Web Store. Now the extension I want to show today is speed dial. So you can either uh, write speed dial and click enter or it shows up here because I already searched for it uh, not too long ago. So speed dial, click enter. Here it shows up as the third hit from the top. As you can see, it's quite popular, uh, 4.7 out of five stars, more than half a million users and more than 117,000 ratings. So to install this extension to Google Chrome, all you need to do is click add to Chrome and it's free. So add to Chrome, uh, add extension. Now it's installing and now it's done. So it's installed. If you click this button to the upper right called extensions, you can see all the extensions you have installed on your Google Chrome browser. Uh, for speed dial, you can either click this highlighted field with a left click and it will take you to the extension. Alternatively, you can left click the three different three dots and you get different options. You can go to options. You can remove the extension if you don't want it anymore. And you can go to manage to manage all the different extensions that you have and this one included. But for this purpose, I'm just going to hover over here and left click. It'll take me to the extension. So I'm just going to click through here. If you want to have this extension show the sites that you visit the most often, you can have this enabled. I'm going to take it off. And if you want the, this extension to show you the sites that you most recently closed, you can keep this checked. But I'm going to check it off. I don't want that. I just want the speed dial. OK, so let's start. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you can also click this home, this house button to get to this view. And this is basically the main advantage of using this uh, extension. It gives you a window. So you can set this as your home page. And then when you open your browser, every time you have all these different windows, which are you know, basically hyperlinks to different websites. And so instead of going through your bookmarks or writing in the browsers every time, you can have all these different windows and the different tabs. And you can just simply click to the sites that you most frequently use. So it's uh, kind of like a shortcut and you can get an overview and see lots of different web websites uh, in the same window. If you go to this plus sign up here, you can create new tabs, so new categories. And then if you select bottom, it'll add it to the right. And if you uh, select top, it'll add it to the left of where you're currently clicked. So I'm currently clicked on default. It's highlighted in green. So if I write test here, it'll show up on the left because I have top enabled. So it's on the left of default. And so in here, I will add the different websites into these different windows uh, the way I want it. If I want to remove one of these, I can right click any of these tabs and I could then go to manage groups and I can hover over each of the groups and I can click the red X to delete them. Now you can't delete the sponsor tab. That's the only one you can't delete. But let's say I want to delete the default. I click the red X and I click OK. I want to delete shop and travel. I click X and take that away. I have tests. I want to keep that one. Sponsored, I can't delete. Now, I don't like sponsored. So what I will do is I'm going to right click each of the eight in sponsored. And I'm going to go down to delete dial. I'm going to click, I don't want to show the warning. I don't want to see the warning next next time. And then I'm just going to go through and I'm going to delete all the sponsored dials. So each of this window, each window is called a dial. 
Okay, so I've deleted all the dials. It's empty. I can't remove that category, but that's fine. Okay, so now I want to add a couple of within, um, a couple of dials, a couple of uh, hyperlinked websites, bookmarks. So you can either right click and click add dial and open this window, or you can just click on one of the empty ones with a plus sign on it. Left click here and it opens it here. Okay, now if I left click this plus sign, it opens this window and let's say I want to add Google. So I'm going to write www.google.com. The title, I want it to be Google. The tab I want it to be added to, I want to add it to the test tab or the group. And I'm going to have it make uh, an auto preview, which means that it will go to the site and auto update what it looks like. And I'm going to set it to every week. So every every week it will go and update based on what the site is looking at. This took, takes a while, so I'm not going to wait for that. But let me add one more. So I left click this plus sign and let's say I want to do Google. So google.com, call it Google. I'm going to do auto preview with a seven day auto update. So it already exists, but I don't mind for this, uh, for this test. And uh, let's say I want to add uh, Google Maps, I write www.googlemaps.com, call it Google Maps. It shows up some suggested uh, views. So I'm just going to choose one of those. It'll jump down to custom preview. So that's another option. And it will find the image, this image below from this URL, which I'm fine with. So add dial, and that will show up after a while. Um, this is the default background. If I go up here to the upper right and click global options, I can make some changes. Uh, maybe I don't want it to restore previous sessions. So I uncheck that one. And in, instead of it redirecting me to the site I click on, maybe I want every time I click on the dial, I want it to open a new tab. So I'm going to select this option. So what that looks like is that when I click one of these tabs, instead of using this window to go there, it'll create a new tab that takes me there. So I'm going to click this. It's going to open a new tab. And that's the way I prefer it. And then I can always go back here. And maybe I want to go to, to that one. And I want to go to that one. I want to just open new tabs every time. So I can also change the appearance. If I want the dials to be super small, I'll drag it all the way to the left. So you can see they're very small. Or I can go again here to appearance and make the dial super big, which make them look like this. I'm just gonna make them small, smaller. I can also make them more or less transparent. So if I drag this down, they're gonna be more see-through, more transparent. You can see they're much, much more difficult to see. They're blending with the background. Now I want it maybe a little bit something like that. Still pretty easy to see. It'll be more, you know, how much do you want it to blend in with whatever background you're using. Uh, talking about background, this is the default background, but you can actually change it if you want to. So I'm going to do that. So if you go to this background tab, background options. If you click this button right here, the folder with the arrow pointing up, you click that, you can uh, use a local file from your computer and you can set that as your background. So I'm just gonna set this image as my background and apply changes and boom. Now this is my background and you can see the first of the dials have loaded the background image or basically the, the site. So I can visually see that this dial is a Google, uh, is taking me to the Google site. So, you know, click this, I'm in Google. I already knew that, but having the, having this auto update and giving me an auto preview, lets me see the site I'm going to. And more rows will be added 
as you fill this out. So once you've added sites on all these, it'll open another row, etc., and go further down. And there's also a search function you can use. Uh, and there's an, also a search function. So this is a web search. So it'll use um, Yahoo as a search engine, which I don't uh, actually use, but it's there if you want to use that. And you can search in your dials here. So let's say I want to search Google. And it'll show up now. Let's say I want to search Facebook. Well, you don't have any Facebook dials, but uh, that's a way to let's search through. If you have a lot of different dials, you can quickly find the one you're looking for. Um, other options that you have here. So dials, you can open it in the current tab. That's where the window will just take you there and use the same window to go where you want to go. The new tab, it opens a new tab, and then new tab with background. So this menu up here to the right, you can hide it by clicking the Chevron, Chevron right there. And if you click it again, it'll pop back out. And one more thing, you can see there's a reflection underneath here. You can enable or disable the reflection by going to the Appearance tab, and you can uncheck Tiles Reflection. And you can see that the reflection underneath is now gone. I prefer without the reflection, but you know, it's whatever you want to, uh, however you want to make it look. So that covers how to install the Speed Dial Google Chrome extension, and hopefully this video was useful to you. Thank you, and have a nice day.